Hi there, Christian Henson from Spitfire Audio with another one of my quick tips. Uh, this time around, something called forced rubato, um, a thing that we stumbled across when working on some of the demos recently, myself and Oliver, as a means of uh, humanizing a sequence that's quite uh, rhythmic. Let's have a listen to this. The searing talents of Joby Burgess there in our Spitfire percussion uh, range. Uh, little plug there, which is now over and done with, but it is very good. Um, basically, uh, the difficulty with overtracking and sequencing is you need to play to a click. The click needs to be constant. And uh, it, it, in order to give a sense of a band playing together without a click, with a natural ebb and flow, say if it was being conducted, that's something that's really quite difficult to emulate on a sequencer. So I've created this little system, which I call force rubato, which refers to the Italian word, which I believe um, it means a robbing rhythm, that slowing and speeding up that ensembles do, a very natural human kind of thing. Uh, what I do is I get up, uh, I'm using logic. I think the Cubase users may um, laugh at the uh, laborious process of of this, which I think you can just draw it in much easier. But I'm going to physically draw in a, um, a tempo map uh, using the pencil tool. So what I start with is just creating some nodes like this. And then I made them so they're kind of, it's an odd, it's a weird number of, of beats because you'll see why in a sec. And then I'm just going to physically lift them up and down not going too down, we were quite slow already, so these little increments are actually going to have quite a profound impact on the sound of the uh, the piece. So just tiny little random amounts. So let's lift those up and down. And then these deep ones there. So what I've done now is I've lassoed all of these tempo events. I'm just going to paste them in and across the sequence and uh, just so they end on bar 14. Let's have a listen to that. So that's sounding better, it's uh, sounding a lot more human. The difficulty I have is if I was working to picture, I have a sense that this sequence is going to be slower and longer, which is not what I want. Uh, I've already marked an event at 14, so imagine that was a hit point, and I've already noted the, uh, the sympathy point there. And let's just check that with the note I made earlier. Yes, we've lost um, j nearly just under a second, really. So the, the whole sequence is running slower. So what I'm going to do is this latter part of the sequence, I think it would be great if that sped up a bit so we caught up with our hit point here at 14. So all I do is, again, lasso that, the, that part of the sequence and then simply lift up until this matches this. Okay, and that's good enough for jazz for me. Uh, the final thing I'm going to do is also alter the um, cue strengths for each of these instruments. So they're being quantized by different amounts. There's that. that. We'll keep the timpani fairly uh, tight. Thanks very much for listening. Here it comes.